Welcome, Aquarians. This is the Pisces season. Reading and with the Pisces season, we begin from February 19th until March 20th. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. You will be receiving these readings um, personally. A lot of people have been asking for this. This is the Abundancy, Prosperity and Money reading for um, the Pisces season. So um, with the Pisces season, we have four weeks. The weeks begin from 19 until the 20th of March. Um, so we need to recognize what is going on. It is a season that carries the energy of 8, 9, and 10. And it is a creative, sensitive, artistic timeline. Okay? So be aware of that. So I see heartbreak. So is here in the second week so we're going to be looking at these weeks um bull by bull bull by bull we're going to be looking at these weeks and recognizing what is happening so first week we have hurt um we have uh, um earth that looks like the mother of hurt and uh, um some sort of a heartbreak so the energy of the mother of hurt is uh, um the energy of uh, um the pentacles okay so it is a uh, um um a water and hurt so that is emotional so some sort of an emotional situation around your money um your abundance money and prosperity um and i see an expert on um uh, 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 um uh, uh situation um where generosity and loyalty is going to be with you okay um what is happening and what is transpiring i see prosperity and um, significance of prosperity and fertility could be coming in but it's as if there is some sort of a reversal that is going on so you gotta be aware because this energy um is the energy of some sort of a uh, unexpected situation okay so however it is coming up and transpiring you have to recognize so um that um in the first week it could be something with a mother that some of you have to help but some sort of an unexpected situation it's going to be coming up with a mother or with your wife that you have to help however this is coming up um aquarians expect this sort of a situation that is going to be putting you back financially in the first week so the first week is water off here so recognize that be aware of that and align yourself with the energy okay as we um get in uh, um the the second week the second week uh, is from uh, um the first of march until the 7th of march uh from the first of march until the 7th of march the second week uh, we have Saturn in Libra, okay? So what we're recognizing here with the energy of Saturn in Libra, some sort of a grief and some sort of a negativity, okay? Um, you know, it's something that is piercing your heart, some sort of a pain, painful situation, painful revelation concerning your money and prosperity, okay? So um, expect that to come up in the second week and that is the week from the first until the seventh and saturn in libra meaning something you know out of the unexpectedly um is going to be happening in order to shake up the flow of your abundance okay so this could be unexpected situation where you have to um look at uh, putting more money in the house some sort of a reparation in the house that sort of a situation that is going to be um you know Praise in your soul where you recognize that, yeah, I have to go in my savings, that sort of a situation where, um, you know, you have to make a choice and the choice have to be quick because it doesn't matter what is going on. The choices have to be very quick because of what is happening and transpiring. So, you know, there we are recognizing um, a situation of how the situation is going to be affecting you and it's as if it's some sort of a rep repairs it could be car issue car problem um think of giving out a lot of money that you were not expecting and that is going to be coming up in the week of the first until the seven and you're going to be recognizing jesus i wasn't i wasn't prepared for this i didn't see this coming and you are going to be trying to figure out so 
a better way of resolving and um, creating balance for this issue but it's painful because you have to go in reserve or you have to go and ask for some sort of a financial help okay all right so let's move on um to the um the third week the third week is a very emotional week whatever is happening and transpiring we are seeing a lot of emotions that is coming up in the third week so we need to recognize uh, um, what is happening in transform because the energy of emotional whenever the energy of the emotional comes up um, that is water and water so the king of cups is water and water and fire okay the king of cups is fire and water faithfulness devotion okay so some sort of a um, situation where this person is going to be um, staying true to a lot of you so it could be a supervisor uh, um, okay um, it could be a supervisor for a lot of you or um, someone who is going to be having your back at the workplace and is going to be supporting you financially, okay? And this is going to be good, okay? So we see some sort of a opening is going to be coming up, some sort of an unexpected, spontaneous opening. And um, this opening is going to be coming up to help some of you financially. So if you were having some sort of a financial issue, I see this fire of water is going to be opening up some sort of a um, way in order for you to create your financial and abundancy. Okay, cancer, um, a cancer person is associated here. So um, I see some of you, a cancer person could be coming in, whoever this person is, whatever, however this person is affecting your life. It could be a father figure or some sort of a family figure that is going to be coming in and is going to be helping out some of you in order to balance out what is happening and what is transpiring so this is um actually very wonderful very powerful um this is pushing you in um the correct direction where it is uh, um advising you and letting you know of uh, the transition um that is going to be coming in and this is going to be good so you know um it is um it, it is a time where um, wonderful associations are going to be coming in and it's going to be happening and this is going to be absolutely fabulous because this is going to be bringing you to um, a place where you're going to be recognizing how much you have to um, create some sort of a um, positive shift in your world and how you are going to be getting um, through a whole lot of uh, um, situation that has to do with the flow of your financial stability and abundancy so um you know you know recognize uh, that people comes in your life uh, um in ways uh, in order to help you especially when you are on the verge of trying to um figure out and create your own stability and abundancy and i see that this is going to be good okay so that's another positive energy because whoever this person is could be a supervisor at the workplace that is going to be trying to open up some sort of a doors and opportunities for you. All right. You're going to be um, helped by this person because I, uh, this person recognized that, uh, um, you know, you, you need some help. So it doesn't really matter who this person is. This person is going to be a very diplomatic person with an open mind. Um, that is going to be definitely coming in and it's going to be helping you to push you in the correct direction. Okay, it could be a father figure, while it could be um, just someone who recognizes uh, your uniqueness. Okay, and it's going to be opening up doors of opportunity for you. Okay, um, and what is going to be, um, you know, getting you out of your stunk. Okay, so if you are in a stunk, you're looking for a job, you're trying to create ways and means in order um, to exhilarate um, some sort of a situation, you're going to be recognizing that this is going to be wonderfully done because that um, they're going to be recognizing the way that things are going and um, and, and, and it is going to be bringing you in a positive direction moving forward. And that is going to be good. So um, wonderful alignment of energies. It is really, really wonderful. It is a situation where 
I see a lot of people, a lot of situation that is going to be coming up, is going to be resolving, um, especially with your materialistic and financial flow. It is going to be resolving in a very, very positive way, okay? And this is going to be good. All right, so when we get to the week of 15th to 20th of March, um, we see happiness um, is coming back in your life. Health is coming back in your life. Um, I see financial stability is being regained. Okay. And that is good. Some sort of a st financial stability is going to be regained. Okay. So it is in the reverse and it has to do with some of you could be like receiving, um, money from, um, this person. Okay. Always welcoming. Um, the nine of pentacles, whether it's in the upright or reverse, because the reverse is that the money is coming to you. Okay. It's a time to enjoy, um, the many results of your royal, your royal and your hard work. So a lot of you, your royalties could be paying out in the fourth week, the week of 15 to 20. Um, if you have a loyalty that could be paying out in that week, I see the hard work is now over. Um, it could be promotion is coming up at work for some of you in the last week, okay? Um, some sort of a funding stability is going to be coming in and I see happiness is going to be returning in your own life, okay? Because uh, maybe there was some sort of an insta instability with a financial stability um, in your own life. It's even possible that you will find yourself just enjoying the finer things of life, okay? Looks, uh, and refinement, um, often it come accompany, um, it, when you have the nine of, uh, um, uh, pentacles and this is good. And this nine of pentacles is in the reverse. Okay. So however, the situation is happening and transpiring, this nine of pentacles is in the reverse and it's in the reverse because, uh, um, you know, it is showing up that you should receive this money or this money should have come to you, but it has not yet come to you. So recognize where you are, what is happening so that you can accelerate the process. Okay. So, um, you know, Aquarians, this is going to be good because you're now, you Aquarians are in a water that is shifting. Um, you Aquarians are here that is shifting into the water period. So in the first week, you're dealing with a hurt. The second week, you're dealing. The second week is going to be good, even though unexpected things is going to be coming up. It's going to be resolved. Um, the third week, some sort of an emotional support is going to be coming up. Um, the fourth week, the week of the 15th to the 20th, I see um, stability money could be coming in, and this is going to be good. So I want to say um, to you guys, uh, really... I want to say, um, please remember to go check out and choose one of the crystal. Remember how this works. You have to choose one of this crystal because it is a season. Okay. With a season, you choose one of this crystal. So the link of the crystal or behind this video will be there. So, um, choose your crystal and uh, I am saying a namaste until next season's. Please remember to thumbs up, thumbs up these video shares, um, likes and share. Thumbs up these video. Make sure the algorithm pick up these videos and you can come back for each season because the season is different from a month. Okay. And this is why we have all of these sort of extended in order to help you guys recognize this is all about your abundancy, money and prosperity. And this is going to be helping you to recognize what is going to be happening to my financial stability in the first week? Okay. And how in, in the, the, the season of Pisces that begins from the 19th of February until the 20th of March. And you're going to be recognizing how this affects you. And moving forward, I am wishing you a wonderful, um, season. Namaste.